Hello and welcome to Fountain FX on Thursday the 9th of January 2014. Um, just really to keep showing you about the Aussie New Zealand dollar as it plays out. Um, as you can see on the daily chart, price is still in this area of consolidation. Price is being squeezed quite heavily as it tries to break below this um, support area of the 1.0740, uh, uh, 1.0750 area. Just going to quickly go into the day, uh, the hourly chart from here. But just to note on the um, MACD histogram, you can see that the MACD histogram is actually declining. Um, the the rate of decline has actually sort of s slowed a bit today, but it's still showing it's pushing down, and the moving averages are starting to come together. So there is a potential that it could still turn and fall but uh, we are in this area and price just doesn't seem to be falling through so I did adjust my stops accordingly and I haven't been stopped out yet but let's just go down to the one hour chart and see exactly what price is doing and as we can see it's come up into this area but it hasn't broken through it also hasn't turned and fallen from here um, yesterday when we took a look at it late yesterday evening we were looking at this area here and as you can see, you suddenly got a bearish candlestick straight off that. Uh, we then got a gap down and price pushed all the way back down into this level. Only to turn, pull back up and turn and push down. So it did, from this level here, it did push down. It did break below this low. So it's trying to push lower than it, this area support. But as you can see, it's really struggling to do so. So I've got my stop in just above this area. We'll see if it does actually turn and break through here which would be great and let the price run but if you think about it I'm looking at it from a swing trade position I've banked some profit I could put in a a, um, a target area down here the 107.46 to take profit and get out of my trade could have done it yesterday and said thank you very much but um, I'm allowing it some uh, wiggle room shall we say just to allow it to push down in the hope that it actually does break through here if we look here, price has pushed all the way back up with some strong upward momentum. But if you look, that the momentum's higher than it was previously when that price was up here. So it may be a case it's showing that momentum is now starting to push up with strength. We can see that the MACD moving averages are getting higher. They crossed over the zero line, and the last time it was up as high as this was back when price was up at the 109. 1.09 whereas it's down at the 1.078 so um, it is showing that price is like almost looking like it's at its, its extreme highs um, so expect it to turn and fall if it doesn't so what it doesn't matter we've banked in some profit I have got my stop just above this area here it could just turn and take me out and then turn and collapse sometimes price does that it's just the nature of it so um, just really say that I mean uh, day traders would be totally impatient with this whole trade setup they wouldn't be looking at this at all they wouldn't be waiting for it to break or anything like that because they're looking for the sort of smaller moves quicker moves etc so swing trade you're just looking for the um, looking at the bigger picture and what's actually happening here price hasn't really if you look price hasn't really broken above this area of support at the 107.80, 107.85 level, um, so it's still showing that this is quite strong. It's had one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch. It's now five, but it hasn't really pushed higher. Whereas when it's come down to this low, the 107.46, it has actually pushed below it, so it's created a new low which we can come down to uh, 107.40. So there's the potential that once it's finished with all its sideways moves it will push down and it will break through so just keep an eye on it we'll see what happens hopefully you're finding this to be a good learning uh, experience because you know sometimes we look at these things we take we take a trade off and we run away uh, only to see it then fall in our favor and we go oh I wish I'd stuck with it and made an extra 200 points or something like that so um, we're protected we're not going to lose any money on this trade so we'll make a small profit but it's worth just seeing what actually happens seeing if it does actually finally go in the direction that we would like it to go in 
Anyway, happy trading from Fountain FX. Talk to you tomorrow.